plans. Hello, and welcome back to plans. And uh, just as a as a little thing that I forgot to mention in plan A is that we will rename the oceans. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, we would need rename the Atlantic to the Pug Atlantic Ocean. We would rename the Indian Ocean to the Pugalicious Ocean, and we would rename the Pacific Ocean to the Pugarian Ocean, and we would rename the Mediterranean Sea to the Isra to the Israelite Sea, and then you know, what? and then. We, we would rename the Hudson Bay to the Puxton Bay. We would also rename the Gulf of Mexico to the Gulf of Florida. And we would rename the Caribbean Sea to the Floridian Sea. And then, you know, everything else, you know, would be na named the exact same. You know, like Black Sea would still be named Black Sea. But anyway, yes. Just wanted to put that out there of what, of what would happen to the oceans if we were to follow Plan A. It's obviously it's the most likely one. But anyway, <laughs> not talking about Plan B. I should be talking about Plan B. But anyway, Plan B is basically it will work better with a globe, which I have. Of course, you know it's not. It's not a modern globe, like, for instance, it has East and West Germany, but it also has North and South Vietnam on it, so, yeah, be prepared, it, it's not modern. <clears throat> Just let me get it! Aha, there we go. You might recall this, if you have watched it, as you have watched my video, that it's from What If The World's What The Earth stop spinning or what if the world stops spinning? Something along the lines of that. But it's like, what if the world stop? Or it's like, what if dot 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 the world stops spinning? Or Earth. So, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. So. What we would do is. Plan B is called. Storm Earth, so you can obviously tell what it would be. But basically, what Plan B is, is that we would generate our own little hurricane, you know. We're a hurricane city, generate. But then, you know, we would make it seem like, you know, it's going in a normal hurricane direction, you know, towards like the west coast or to the Gulf or to uh, Central America. But then, what we would do is, we would make it immediately go southwards, or like we would immediately make it look like it's going towards the west coast, but make it go away from the west coast, and then have it go down, and then to the equator, which everybody knows that the hurricane goes. I'm pretty sure it's counterclockwise when the cyclone spins clockwise, so you know, people would think that it would stop, and then. It would seem like it would be stopping. It would seem like it would be fading away. But then it would come back. But half of the hurricane would become a cyclone. And it would start migrating to the South Pole. And the hurricane would start migrating to the North Pole. And they would just sit on the North and South Pole, getting stronger and stronger. With fiercer and more fiercer winds and more, you know, torrential rain, you know, hurricane speed winds, you know, and obviously clouds. But anyway, yeah, they just keep on doing that until they got to the equator and there would be no more sunlight touching the ground. Unless. We were in Pugilantis, which, as you know, is somewhere, oh no, 
is somewhere in the North Atlantic. Which, from space, you'll be able to finally be able to see it. Because it'd be creating a little bit of, you know, how a person makes a shadow uh, of light during sunset and it, became, it makes a long shadow. Well, this would be making a, well, the actual force field around Pugilantis would be creating that sort of effect. And we would be happy to protect any nation that we liked. So, you know, basically all the, basically, you know, Greenland and Ireland and the UK and France and Germany and Sweden and Norway and Finland and Israel and Taiwan and did I forget anybody? No, I just forgot the US states. Back in the United States. And uh, Michigan and Ohio and Florida and uh, New Mexico. Did I me already mention Virginia? I didn't already mention Virginia. Virginia and uh, West Virginia. And then everything out of that, everything out of the forest fields would just suffer. It just suffer inside all the winds and rain. And, you know, basically be it basically be an eternal hurricane and cyclone forever until Earth got destroyed. Now, that was part B, that, not part B, but plan B. So yeah, I know. See, as you can tell, part B is a bit grim. It, it's a, a tad bit grim. And, uh, yeah. I did a little drawing, but the drawing doesn't serve justice to how it would actually work. So, yeah. It basically, if you really think about it, the Earth would just look like a gray cloud, if you really think about it, with just some, like, clear portions, whether it be nothing but, like, wind. Because that's kind of being what it would be. Actually, I'm pretty sure there would be no wind in those areas, but there would be clouds. There would be clouds, and actually, there'd just be clouds in those shadows, eventually. Eventually, okay, so right after the force fields, there'd be clear skies. And slowly, there would be clouds, and then, you know, the wind would stop picking up, and then rain would stop falling, and then, you know, it would go back to, you know, the, the, basically the rest of the world. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, ooh, eight minutes, so yeah, goodbye.